get you a racing car. do whatever you're comfortable with but generally what we do is we rev the engine until it stops making power that's not me but yeah, like if it's see if it's giving us any kind of like it's unhappy with this or making any kind of or like it just doesn't look clean or whatever like that then you know stop at that whatever yeah. that engine RPM. okay i would probably guess when this thing has a lot of boost in it it'll be 9500 or something like that something probably i'm guessing yeah that, that's sort of what we were ballparking at the at the shop but i mean we don't we don't want to undershoot it but we also don't want to overshoot it and it not be happy Four hundred. At least it's more than your turbo can make. Yeah. Right? So it's plenty of fuel unless you guys go to a larger turbo or something. Right? But that that would fit like a glove. You ain't large. Yeah. Right? And then this should be fairly easy to be mounted to a plate. Yeah, the plate is bolted on the place of the housing. Yeah, so right? scooter will in from the waste. Really gate. easy, right? Yeah. Okay. And then you don't need to have that big electric pump. Yeah. I would recommend using like a smaller like a primer pump. Okay. Right? Just to make it quicker to, to turn and everything because 
Where's the fuel cell right now? All the way in the back. Okay. That's, a, that's can a lot you move, of priming. But can you move to the front? We could, yeah. I'll do that. Move to the front. You the need only, the way down the front anyway. Yeah. yeah. And, and then this is the deal. Um, because of the assembly, right? The motor is kind of tall, mm -hmm. right? The pump's still going to be up, mm -hmm. right? So your fuel cell won't be above the pump. It's going to be below. Yeah. I'll still run a primer okay. just to crank easier. But you actually wouldn't need it, yeah. right? It's just like to, to be extra safe. Let me say, crank quicker, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Same but if the fuel cell is yeah, here, closer to the pump, you have a nice feed line, you can run this one. So like, this one will support like that power, like yeah. 2,000 horses easy, okay. right, on alcohol. So you can do this one right there on the sugar okay. deal. Yeah. That will make it an easy one. Okay. And then you don't need to worry about this thing. And plus, all the power from the battery, mm -hmm. you know, can focus on injectors and coils. You know, it's not yeah. like wasting on the pump and. Will like oil that. getting on this damage it at all? No, because no all that's oil, so no, obviously that's sealed. not sealed. Okay. So like, yeah. So this side is sealed, okay. right? For the same reason of this one, you have fuel coming in. Yeah. So, you so don't it has to be sealed, to otherwise out. you will have fuel going that yeah, way. Right? Okay. Right. So it is sealed right here. It is sealed right here. So there is like a, a wear plates inside mm -hmm. the gears. You can see from when you take the cap off. Right, you can oh, see okay. the gears. Yeah. Right. Yeah, she up. and so she can run both end. sides. Right. Yeah. Okay. She runs both ways. Oh, right. cool. Okay. So that's why we don't even have an in and out on it. Yeah. Right. You can. Yeah, I noticed that oh, too. Most it spins of them are, one yeah, way, like, spins the other way. You know, it's the so same thing. The water okay. man only spins one way. Yeah. yeah so you can do both ways. Everything. That's even why we do the same feeding on both sides. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. you can do always the largest you can do on the on, on the, the feed, feed line. Right. And the pressure line depends on what you have on your pressure Feel line, real, yeah. you know, but like this, this is an easy one to adapt. Okay. I would say this is a good one for you guys, you know, to adapt. Yeah. Some people using this 10 gallons on jet skis, mm -hmm. some imports and stuff that yeah. they have that a thousand to two thousand range. Yeah. This is really good because you can do E85 and you can do alcohol. Whatever. Okay. That's yeah. what my next question was. Yeah. It all fuel safe. Yeah. Okay. So you can do whatever. Yeah. Because like this is made in Brazil, back in Brazil, we use nitromethane and everything. Yeah. So like it has to withstand, you know, the, the harsh fuel. Yeah. Okay. That you can have it. Maybe that light, that puff of smoke at the end might have been. Yeah, like it has a differential fuel pressure compensation. So mm -hmm. as soon as the fuel pressure dropped, it, it upped the injector duty cycle, and you can still see the O2 starting to run yeah. just a little bit up. You'll, you'll notice these two are compared. Yeah, Ready start losing. It's it like ocean, going. ocean. Yeah. A little pressure still super high. Engine temp cold. 
so I'm gonna put together a pretty good motor. Coolant pressure, got a seven. I tried. <laughs>